A lot of people are busy planning those summer vacations, and while booking travel is generally pretty safe, it's still an area scammers like to target. Amy Mitchell with the Better Business Bureau is here today to talk about what to be on the lookout for. Thanks for joining us, Amy. Absolutely. Okay, so first question, when it comes to traveling, what kind of scams do people typically see? So you're going to see a lot of the mail-in, hey, you've won a free trip, you know, which it is great. It sounds great. It yeah. sounds great. I mean, like, I, I want to win a free trip. A lot of those are going to be timeshare gimmicks where you go, you'll get the free trip, but you might end up stuck in a room for six to eight hours waiting to see where your, you know, trip's actually going to go instead of be stuck in, stuck in a marketing meeting. Yeah. You have to be careful. <laughs> okay, wow. So when it comes to, like you just said, you know, it may come in the mail or something, what are some of the best ways that people can avoid getting scammed? Do you have any suggestions? So the first thing I recommend is during your trip, make sure you're planning, make sure you're using legitimate websites. Don't do broad internet searches like cheapest trip or, you know, cheap flight to so-and-so. Be careful, go to directly to the travel websites, whichever one you wanna use, do your research on the area, and during your planning ahead, make sure that you are budgeting for things like food and theme parks, and sometimes food at theme parks is it considerably more. So you really wanna be careful with your budgeting and planning ahead to make sure the trip's gonna be fun and that you're not getting scammed or roped into anything that your family doesn't really wanna do on a trip. Right, no, that's understandable. So, of course, we always have the preventative efforts that we can do, but if you do get scammed, what is the process to kind of maneuver through something like that? So you would report it to us, come to BBB.org, file a complaint. We will try to help you. All of our services are free to the public. We hope you don't have to get to that point. So we really encourage consumers to use BBB.org to check out the companies that they're gonna travel with or use before they make those final purchasing decisions. And are there like maybe some signs people can look out for, like, you know, this may not be legit, that kind of thing? There are some of those red flag signs. You can find those on our website. Um, my main tip here is gonna be when you, before you sign the contract on any type of travel plans, your flight, anything, make sure you read the terms and conditions and make sure you read the cancellation policy. You do not wanna get stuck. No, that makes sense. Well, thank you so much, Amy Mitchell with the Thank Better you. Business Bureau, as always.